हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द स्टेन एनर्जी फॉर डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेसेस दैट व्हाट इज द स्टेन एनर्जी स्टोर्ड व्हेन ए डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस इज अप्लाइड ऑन ए मटेरियल और ए बार सो सपोज वी हैव ए बार लाइक दिस वी हैव बार से द लेंथ ऑफ द दिस बार इज एल and a load is applied a load is applied and for this case we are taking that the load is applied gradually when we are talking about direct stresses uh, the load applied is gradually it is default why default if the load is applied suddenly then it should be mentioned when it is not mentioned it means that the load applied is gradual it is by default right so load is applied from 0 newton to p newton right so it is by default that by default because nothing is mentioned if nothing is mentioned it is by default that load is applied applied gradually from 0 to the maximum intensity p right so the work done by this load and suppose there is some deflection some deflection that is delta l so work done by this load will be equal to p delta l right p delta l but this p applied is gradual from 0 to p so we will take the average from 0 to p so work done will be equal to work done will be equal to the load applied multiplied by deflection and load is applied gradually so we will take from 0 to p the average average from 0 to p whatever is the initial load and whatever is the final load the average of that right because we are assuming that this is linear variation multiplied by delta l right and this work done will be stored in the as a strain energy right so this will be equal to strain energy that is half p delta l right this we can show this by graph also that strain energy stored is given by the strain energy stored is given by load deflection curve that is a straight line curve like this and suppose the initial load is this initial load is zero and final load is p so this is the the area under the curve area under the curve will give the strain energy stored the area under, under the curve will give the strain energy stored right strain energy stored or work done right which is given by the area of this triangle area of this triangle suppose this triangle has a area of a o a b so this is area o a b which is half multiplied base multiplied by height so this is half multiplied by base multiplied by height so same we will get u is equal to half p delta l which is this right so we are considering the gradual applied load gradually applied load from 0 to maximum intensity p and this is the strain energy stored and we know that uh, by by deformation by linear deformation we know that the delta l we have already solved in first chapter that delta l is given by pl upon ae you have to go to first chapter to check how we get got this that deformation is given by pl upon ae put here you will get the value of u as p square delta l put the value of delta l you will get p square l upon 2 ae so this is the this is the strain energy stored in the material strain energy stored in the material and if p is variable if p is variable if p is variable in that case we will take a small deformation dx and then we will apply this theorem so u will be equal to that will be equal to integration of this part right p square in which dl is replaced with dx we will take a small section for variable load upon 2 ae so this is the strain energy stored for variable load right and it can be further solved that strain energy will be equal to if we uh, multiply and divide by area we can write uh, p a p square l upon a l multiplied by a upon 2 a square e multiply and divide by area so what is p upon a load upon area that is stress 
that is stress load upon area this is stress right so we can write stress square upon 2e so u will be equal to sigma square upon 2e multiplied by l multiplied by area cross section area multiplied by length is a volume of this bar volume of this bar is volume of this bar is area multiplied by length this is a volume for a cylinder anything right so that is a volume so this is the strain energy stored in this bar sigma square upon 2e p square l upon 2ae half p delta l and if the load is variable then this is p square dx upon 2ae the whole integral right so this is how we find out the strain energy for direct stresses